Question ninth. In four years, six thousand amounts to eight thousand. In what time will five forty-five amounts to seven hundred at the same rate? Mr. Sarthak, how should we do the question? So first we'll find the SI. So uh, it will be amount minus uh, principal. So uh, it will be two thousand. So two thousand equal to uh, six thousand. Into R into four upon hundred, so that will be twenty five upon three percent. So amount is eight thousand, principal is six thousand. So simple interest would be two thousand. Mr. Sarthak, is it correct? Yes, sir. What should I do next? Uh, so it will be two thousand equal to six thousand into R into four upon hundred. So the simple interest is equal to the principal six thousand into R into T. T is four years. Four upon hundred. Is it correct? Yes, sir. So double zero double zero will cancel. We have to find R. So R would be two thousand upon four into sixty. Is it correct, Mr. Sarthi? Yes, sir. So. We have twenty-five upon three percent as the rate of interest. Mr. Sarthak, is it correct? Yes, sir. So the at the same rate. That is why we wanted to find the rate because the rate remains the same. The rate is twenty-five by three percent. Now we know that the rate is twenty-five by three percent, and it will remain the same. For what? For converting five twenty-five into seven hundred, Mr. Sarthak, is it correct? Yes. Sir. What should I do next? Uh, we'll find the SI. Uh, so seven hundred minus five twenty-five. So it will be one thirty-five. Amount minus principal. This would be seven hundred minus five twenty-five. Is it correct? Yes. Sir. So this would be one seventy-five rupees. Is it correct? Yes. Now again, I I'll apply the formula. Simple interest is equal to P R T by hundred. The interest is one seventy five. The principal is five twenty five. Rate is twenty five by three percent. And I have to find the time. Is it correct? Yes, sir. So you will have to do the calculation to find the time. Whatever is the time, that time will be in years. Whatever is the time would be in years. So time would be one seventy five into hundred upon five twenty five into three upon twenty five. Mr. Sarthak, is it correct? Yes. Sir. And we are will have to cancel this now. So twenty five four sa. This would be twenty five four the five the six the seven the. Am I correct? Twenty five two the fifty and twenty five one the fifty. Is it correct? So I didn't do it this way. Sir. Okay, no problem. So this seven. And this three will cancel this twenty one, so time would be four years. Is it correct, Mr. Sarthi? Yes, sir. Right.